Thank you. A guide to Portfolio Northwest. Bye, Bye North Humphrey, we, we can. Did you put the chewing there? Uh, no, um, the chewing gum was already on the floor um, from all the people that spit it out. Um, and so I'd noticed that um, in this particular building that I was working in, there was a lot of chewing gum outside on the pavement. Um, and as you got nearer to the entrance way, uh, there was more and more bits of chewing gum all around. So you had this kind of pattern that exploded out of the building. Um, and so originally I painted it pink just to highlight it, because um, most people, it becomes background noise, you don't really notice it anymore. Um, why? Why does it become background noise? Because I think most people just ignore it, because it's everywhere. Oh, it's sad that I've been here. Do you think it's sad? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'll paint it bubblegum pink, and hopefully people will notice it. But actually, people still didn't notice it. I think they just registered it as <coughs> chewing gum and ignored it again. To you guess dirty working on the floor. Because <laughs> as well as chewing gum, people smoke cigarettes around there as well. So there's lots of there's lots of rubbish on the floor, and it's quite grim. Um, and one of my friends was really disgusted by the idea of painting the gum because she she imagined all the mouths that that gum had been in, and all the people that had ever chewed it. So she found it really disgusting that I was on the floor painting it. Um, 
We were doing performances with little synthesizers, which uh, make noises like like that. And then we were going to do a performance on top of the bus station in Preston. There are people that modify their cars and they put massive speakers in them so that when, you, when they drive past people the sound is really really loud um, and so we thought we'd like to do a mobile sound sculpture using these cars um, and so we got in touch with one of Dan's friends who had a modified car, it's the yellow one on the flyer um, and went along with these tiny little synthesizers and plugged them into his car and they make the most enormous noise because the, the speakers are so big and coming out of this little tiny machine, it was amazing. They do a thing called the bass hair trick, and the sound pressure level in the car is so intense that it makes your hair stand on end when it kicks in. Wow. So we, and that was the other thing, is that they, they're a real sort of subculture, it's a real sort of tribe of people that do this. And what I really liked about it was that they were really they're making art without thinking about it. And then there's three of us in the collective that are working. So we decided to try and get someone with a car for each of us to then play our synthesizers in the car. Um, and the idea being that we would drive around town playing boys much lower and things like that. Um, so really the, the piece is influenced by the journey.